Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today is going to be a little bit of a different video. It's going to be more of a how-to video. We're going to take a break on the mobility scooter for, for now. So in this video, you're going to see us completely strip this car. We're going to grind all the unnecessary stuff off, weld up a few things that need to get welded. And then we're going to be painting it like a, it's like a red color. It's a, it's like the most common color you could probably do on like a go-kart. So it's going to look nice towards the end, but this video is going to be mainly showing you guys like what sandpaper to use, how to prep it, how to properly paint it. And we're going to like strip it completely, completely sand it. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bro, you did not have any mercy on those little roads. Nope. Oh. Alrighty guys, so we're going to start off by taking off all the engine and throttle cable, and then brakes. Actually, I have no idea. We'll figure it out when we get there. We'll just start stripping it, slowly but surely. So it's the next day, we got the car sanded everywhere we needed to, finished up all the welds, and then we built like this sort of small tent just to, it's kind of windy outside, we don't want any overspray like just flying away, we want to get as much of the paint on as we can. So we're going to go ahead and wipe it down with alcohol just to get all the sand dust and any other dirt that's on it. And then we're gonna go ahead and paint the bottom. We got, we chose like this candy apple red, just cause it's like a vintage go-kart color. Like that's the first thing you think of when someone says go-kart. So yeah, it's just the, your regular Rust-Oleum Walmart brand. Uh, and then we also got this, this gray color. We're gonna paint a few of the accessories like the rear wheels. So yeah, and these this paint, it's paint and primer all together. So there's, we, we won't have to be going through the hassle with priming it first. So we also got all the things masked up that we wanted to, like this rear axle with the sprocket. I couldn't get the sprocket off because it's just, it's garbage. Uh, steering wheel, a few of the like little bolts that are welded on just so the thread wouldn't be messed up after. So yeah, let's go ahead and clean it up with alcohol and then start spraying down the bottom.
Alright you guys got our paint and we're gonna after cleaning we're gonna start putting on the first layer of paint. This is paint plus primer so we don't have to primer it. If you don't want to primer it make sure that you have this. But if you have like a, a build from scratch you always want to primer it like this. It's had paint on it before. So it has something to stick to. Yeah, it has something to stick to. But if you're building something from scratch, you want to have primer on it. like to the touch so I could touch where it's, it's dry. So we're gonna go do a, like a second coat on the bottom. We're gonna wait for it to dry, not as long though, and then we're gonna flip it and do the top. Alright guys, so we got these stands outside, these are different ones, and we put them in the sun because you want them to dry as fast as you can, and we're using this uh, gloss, like a gray, it almost looks like primer, but it's actually paint, so basically what we did is we just tied some fishing line onto the parts, see we already painted this one just to see what it would look like, we masked this side off just because the wheel goes here and you don't want excess paint there, so it's turning out good, it, might, it looks like it might need a second coat. So this one's not done, that one's done. So we're gonna we're gonna finish this one off. So we just took it outside of the tent in the sun so it kind of bakes it with and we put it on the two stands that we had the pedals and spindles hanging on and the wheels are on the floor so everything's just drying right now in the sun. We're gonna leave it like this overnight. It's not gonna rain I don't think overnight so tomorrow it'll be dry enough to put into the garage easily and then I think Friday we're gonna try to assemble it fully. So this video is gonna be over soon. But yeah, it turned out pretty good. Also, we didn't finish the third coat, I just realized that. So we're gonna let it bake today because we ran out of time, we have to go. So we're gonna let it bake today in the sun and then tomorrow we're just gonna finish it with like, the last, the last coat. Yeah, last coat, just anything that needs to be touched up. The last final. So we got the we got the cart in the garage. It's been a few days after we painted it, so it dried up. It turned out really good. I mean, the cart's not good, but the paint turned out pretty good. We got the front end mostly assembled, so we got tie rods, spindles, front wheels, and we got the pedals on. So we're gonna move on to right now to installing the seat, the engine, the brakes, rear wheels, and it should be it should be fully finished. So yeah, th this thing's turning out pretty good. Yeah, so when you're when you finish painting yours, yours might have a little bit different parts and stuff, but just try to assemble it as best as you can, the same way you 
unassembled it. The way it was, yeah. The way it was, yeah, so. So that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. We got everything done, we got everything on. Everything's working, we wrote it. We weren't able to film any of it because the camera died. But we just got everything on pretty much. It looks much better than it did. We also, we never filmed how we put the black grip tape right here. Not grip tape, but like a grip uh, paint. It's like this industrial stuff. It's Davis some non-skid black. It's really nice, it comes in a big container like this. Uh, so you basically just take like a paintbrush and you dab in it and then you dab on the surface. You mask off what you don't want to get painted and then this does the job. It does, we got it right here and right here a little bit. We put it right here just so that it comes up some of the wealth because we couldn't get paint there. But yeah, this thing turned out much better than it was looking before. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful for you guys on how to paint a cart. But yeah, if you made it this far in the video, consider subscribing and catch you guys on the next one.